Welcome to the numerology and the astrology for April 4th, 2021. Thank you for joining me. I'm Suzanne Wagner and I do a daily numerology and astrology blog and I'm glad that you're joining us today. So if you add all those numbers together, you get the number 13. If you add the one and the three together, you get the number four. The number four is the number of neutral mind, harmony, um, it's a very high level of consciousness because it requires you to have objectivity and to see both sides of the coin that you can understand this person's viewpoint, you can understand this person's viewpoint, and you try and bring the two sides together. The number four allows us to settle into the pattern and the cycle that inspires peace and that supports observation. Clarity comes with patience and perspective. Rarely does it come from instant knowing or rational trains of thought. While both can help gather up information, it is the ability to see all information with a calm and clear eye that allows for new pathways to open up. Notice what you want, and then notice what choices and decisions will support consistent growth towards that end, and what options interfere with that outcome. It is human nature to want to do something immediately. It is more powerful to see the bigger pattern unfolding and then create strategies to lead us to that ultimate goal. So often in life, we do things because we are angry and want to blow off steam. While that process of instant gratification feels good in the moment, it is often like one strong gust of wind that topples some trees, but the impact of those changes are not profound or worthy of a place in history. I would rather be known for the kindnesses I have freely given from a calm center of care rather than one flashy moment in some forgotten historical context. It is a powerful journey to seek inner peace that promotes a world with less conflict and judgment. It is the only world that I'm interested in cultivating. But first, we must always start with ourselves. If we do not know that powerful place of peace internally, it will be impossible to manifest it externally. The astrology today. Happy Easter everybody. Um, expect a quiet Easter Sunday with this Capricorn moon. I am all for tradition and stability and balance and staying with family on this particular day with the astrology. And appreciating life and embracing the journey of death is what Easter is all about. Each of us will take that journey at some point. I believe that we choose our birth and we choose our death. But I do believe that we have multiple options in life for those exit strategies. I have passed four very clearly marked moments where my life could have ended. I had a split second to choose and if I had chosen slightly differently, I could have completed this cycle prematurely. I know others have that same experience. There are moments when a point of awakened clarity can save your life. And there will be moments that each of us will face that we will be asked to surrender up this life and move to the next level of conscious exploration. We are celebrating Easter, a time of life resurrecting and the rebirth of a new year. Eggs are being laid, babies are being born, new buds are appearing on plants, and all life is emerging from a dark slumber to celebrate this one moment again called life. Many lunar aspects will continue to plague our emotions with a sense of overwhelm and upset. We are being pushed towards a more mature path where we have to alter some of our plans in favor of the bigger picture. Work towards productivity and do your best to handle stress in conscious ways. Each of us is seeking security and stability that allows for the next level to heal the soul. And my quote for today. Do you realize why you run and hide? Do you realize where fear will provide? A place to explain and then complain? A moment to judge and have disdain? I want to embrace all of life. I want to embrace conflict and strife. No part of me can be left behind. I cannot be whole if I am unkind. I need to move past resistance and pain. I need to know that there is no one to blame. All my choices manifest the next lessons to learn. All those events my soul wanted to discern. And my blog for today. The hummingbirds swoop in, supported by the strong wind. 
the skunk waddles around, wary of sudden sights and sounds. The mama deer with last year's babies in tow bliss out on the new green sprouts that show. The flock of pigeons come back to roost in the big trees that this land produced. I am a part of this bigger plan, a part that wants to protect this land. I am a steward, witness, and keeper. I try to keep at bay the grim reaper. I want this land to just be and provide homes along the mountainside. With intelligence comes responsibility. With compassion comes humility. In truth, we are all connected and tied. We need to allow nature to thrive and provide. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Easter.